Image 28, provides fluid pages for benefits enrollment. During open enrollment, you can easily begin by using the tile found on the Employee Self-Service homepage. The open enrollment process uses the Activity Guide Composer framework. It gives you the ability to add or delete steps and customize the activity guide to fit the needs of your organization. While the open enrollment activity guide shown here has several steps, we'll showcase the benefits enrollment step. Here you can see a benefits enrollment summary section, related content, and the benefit plans. In the benefit plans section, select the medical plan card to review and make any necessary updates. Update the Flexible Spending Health Plan. After completing your updates, click the Review Enrollment button to view a PDF of your benefits plan choices. Once you've made all of your updates, submit your enrollment. You can also use the Fluid Benefits Enrollment for fluid life events and onboarding. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Benefits Enrollment feature. In HCM Image 28, Time and Labor Manager Self-Service Fluid Timesheet delivers the ability for managers to enter time in the new weekly time entry page. Managers can also enter an approved time in the Enter Time page for their time reporters. The Select Employee page includes new fields to display the number of exceptions and the number of hours to be approved for employees. The Timesheet folder contains the Enter Time and Time Summary navigations to access time reporters. The manager can see what the time reporter would normally see with a few additions. There are navigation buttons to go to the next or previous time reporter and a link to return to the employee selector. The Enter Time page changes the format depending on the type of time reporter selected. The Enter Time page for a punch time reporter displays the punch types in columns and the days in rows. If there is reported time to be approved, the selection checkboxes will appear before the first punch type column and the approval buttons at the top of the grid. Managers can approve reported time directly on the timesheet. When there is unapproved reported time, the Manage Approvals section appears. Use the checkboxes to either select individual days to approve or to select them all at once. Use the buttons to approve, deny, or push back the time. The buttons that show on this page can be controlled by your organization. You can view the approval chain by selecting the approval status links. The Weekly Time Entry and Weekly Time Summary are new pages included in the Team Time Navigation Collection. This completes our demonstration of the Manager Self-Service Fluid Timesheet Enhancements in Time and Labor. The new Fluid Work Centers for U.S. and Global Payroll enable users to quickly access and monitor payroll transactions using a desktop, tablet, or smartphone. In Image 28, HCM delivers a new work center for global payroll. It also reconfigures and fluidizes the Payroll Work Center for USA as a process-oriented tool. From the Workforce Administrator homepage, click the Payroll Work Center USA tile. The Payroll Work Center USA page supports new display and filtering options, providing flexibility to personalize the data based on requirements. The navigational panel on the left side of the page contains group boxes and links. The group box definitions are delivered and you can use the delivered configuration to add your own work items, links, queries, and analytics. My Work contains the Payroll Items Collapsible section, which lists payroll-related work items. Click the Employee ID in any work pane in the My Work group box to access the pay sheet for the employee. Use the Related Actions drop-down list for options to help correct a payroll processing error. Use the Global Payroll Work Center tile to access the payroll activities for Global Payroll Country Extensions. The provided work items are representing common functions globally, whereby country-specific transactions can be easily added through configuration.
The scope option determines the data displayed in the work center. For example, this option can be used to restrict the selection based on the status of the calendar run. You can create scopes using the Configure Scope option. The Personalize option enables you to define user-level preferences for group boxes in your work center. The right panel displays data based on the selected work item and scope. Use Filter to narrow the search results and control the right panel layout using the Personalized Output option. This option provides the flexibility to personalize columns and the order in which they are displayed in the right panel. Easily change the position of columns and select the columns to be displayed by default for each work item. HCM Image 28 also delivers pivot grid analytics for both U.S. and global payroll data. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Payroll Work Center feature. Starting in Image 28, both managers and employees can review compensation history on a Fluid page. As a manager, you would select the employee whose history you would like to see. The Enhanced View Compensation History page supports new display and filtering options, giving managers the flexibility to manipulate the data they want to see in the chart and the grid. As a manager, you can change the frequency used to display amounts in base salary rows. Select a different frequency and click Apply. The grid shows all salary amounts in the monthly frequency. In addition to changing the display frequency, you can also filter the compensation data that shows in the grid and chart by source, type, employee job title, and time period. Filter the page to show only base salary rows in the past 10 years. The grid updates based on the specified filter values. So does the chart. When you click on a base salary row, the system displays a modal page showing the details of that row. The modal page also shows the components of pay information for that salary entry if the option is enabled in the setup. Fluid compensation history is also available to employees in self-service. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Compensation History feature. Administrators in HCM can now view the progress of employee onboarding processes using the onboarding status page for administrators. This new page enables administrators to view a summary of the steps the employee has not started, has visited or completed, or that may be overdue. Like managers, administrators can send a reminder to the employee to finish the onboarding process. However, administrators also have the ability to perform additional tasks. The onboarding installation page includes the new administrator view section, which gives administrators the ability to mark an individual step or an employee's entire onboarding process as complete, as well as delete an onboarding event for an employee. When you select these options, additional buttons become available to the administrator on the onboarding status page based on the process status. The administrator can delete an employee onboarding process that has a status of in progress, complete, or canceled. This will completely remove the onboarding event so that it is no longer available to the employee, manager, or administrator. When a process is in progress, the administrator can mark individual steps as complete or mark this onboarding process as complete. This completes our demonstration of the Administrator View of Onboarding feature. The Export Org Chart page enables HR administrators to download an employee's organizational data. The export process will create a CSV file for either Excel or Visio. This completes our discussion of the Company Directory HR Administrator Org Chart export feature. PeopleSoft HCM Image 28 supports the viewing of empty positions on the Fluid Company Directory pages. 
When your organization uses a position-based company directory tree, you can opt to include empty positions in the tree structure. You can view empty positions on the reporting structure, directs, and peers pages of the company directory profile, as well as the organization chart page. This completes our discussion of the company directory display empty positions feature. In image 28, sensitive data masking capabilities have been extended to allow masking in driver's license number and passport number. For example, after configuring roles and deciding the masking format and the fields to hide using the component configuration page, you can see the last four digits are unmasked. This completes our discussion of the Data Privacy Enhancements Sensitive Data Masking feature. Fluid Self-Service for Payroll now provides access to U.S. year-end forms W-2 and W-2C using a desktop, laptop, or smartphone. Using the W-2 and W-2C consent page in Payroll Self-Service, employees can request or withdraw consent to receive electronic W-2 and W-2C forms. Once consent is given to receive electronic year-end forms, employees can view and download these slips using the View W-2 and W-2C Forms page. The View Details button appears for employees with multiple slips. Select the button to open the View Details page. This completes our discussion of the U.S. Fluid Year-End Forms Enhancement. With HCM Image 28, you have a new learning tile on the Employee Snapshot Promotion Readiness Dashboard. This tile gives managers a quick graphical summary of learning statuses associated with an employee's profile in Enterprise Learning Management. Use the View All link on the tile to access the All Learning page, which displays an employee's learning history, as well as their current and planned learning status. This completes our demonstration of the eSnapshot Learning Integration and Tile feature. The PeopleSoft HCM Employee Snapshot feature provides you with several updates to improve the user experience. Managers using the Employee Snapshot dashboards can quickly access career and succession planning transactions for an employee using the Related Actions menu next to the employee's name. Talent administrators accessing the Configure Employee Snapshot pages will notice several new icons associated with the Category Page tabs in the left panel. In addition, a sliding left panel has been added to the component. This allows you to display the tab categories for page selection or hide the left panel to increase real estate space on a page. This completes our discussion of the Employee Snapshot Related Actions and NAV Collection Updates. In HCM Image 28, you can view historical profile rows from the Talent Profile and Team Talent Profile Fluid pages. When historical rows exist for a content item, the page will display the View History button. Click the button to access the View Profile Item History page, which lists the effective dated rows for this item. Then select Individual Rows to view details for that effective date. This completes our discussion of the Manage Profiles, Viewing Historical Profile Items in Fluid feature. In addition to viewing historical rows, the Talent Profile and Team Talent Profile pages enable you to view and maintain multiple profiles, whether for yourself or for your employees. The subheading shows you which profile type you are viewing. The View Another Profile link lets you switch between profile type. When you click the link, you can choose from a list of valid person profile types to view or update that profile information. This completes our discussion of the Manage Profiles, Support for Multiple Profiles feature.
Continual communication with applicants is an important part of the recruiting process and can often be accomplished through self-service. The PeopleSoft Candidate Application Status feature enables the customer to use a configurable setup table to map their own descriptive statuses and explanations on the Delivered Status Area page. As applicants progress through the recruiting process, they'll be able to view the descriptive statuses and additional explanations on the My Job Application page. This completes our discussion of the Candidate Application Status feature. The XML reporting framework is enhanced to support schema validation. With this new feature, XML files generated through the XML report framework can be directly validated against a schema file. The messages in the log file can be displayed by line number or by context using an identifier such as employee ID. This helps users to easily identify issues before submitting a file to local authorities based on validation rules provided by the authorities. This completes our discussion of the XML Reporting Schema Validation Enhancement. Global Payroll for France is enhanced to meet the French government's new tax regulation to deduct tax at the source. A new upload feature is introduced in XML Framework to import the tax rates as provided by the French authorities. This upload is carried out through an inbound DSN file. Modifications are also made to the DSN outbound file to report the applied tax withholding back to the authorities. New rules are created to withhold the new tax deduction when the income is paid to the employee. The withholding tax will be effective from January 1, 2019. This completes our discussion of the deduction at source for France enhancement. The PeopleSoft Page and Field Configurator tool now supports fluid components, giving you the capability to define page configurations specific to a form factor or device size. This enables you to select the fields to be displayed on a smaller device differently than the fields displayed on a larger device. This completes our discussion of the Page and Field Configurator enhancements for supporting fluid pages. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.